just got finished watching the 2018 Music Legends Award. And, and may I speak with your daughter for a minute? Yes, ma'am. What did you think about tonight's performances and, and everything that went on tonight? I mean, what did it mean to you and what did you think about that? I loved it because my Gigi was in the thing and she ta always taught me songs from two to eight and now I'm eight and I'm happy she's in my life. And what is your name? Aubrey. And what school do you go to, Aubrey? St. Mary's. And who is your Gigi? Barbara Dorsey. The lady that the, the young lady that got honored tonight? Is that your Gigi right there? Well let me see if I can get a, a, a little bit of little words from Gigi right quick and I, I think that'll be pretty cool. What you think? Yeah. Hi Gigi, how are you doing? How are you? I um just want to tell you your contributions to music. Bring up, bring up, bring up. Come on up here with me a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see each other. Your contributions to music have been amazing. I mean, just hearing the accolades and the things that you've accomplished and everything else, I mean, I think it was pretty awesome. What, even the beginning, inspired you to even do what, you're do, what you've done and even do what you did, but I heard what you said once you, were, you know, got on stage that if they needed you, you was there. So what inspires you to keep doing what you do? Well, for, for one thing, I've always had an opportunity to do things with children and with uh, adults and music and I've enjoyed it. It kept me sometimes when I was in the lowest part of my life it lifted me. Music has been just an awesome part of my life and, and so recently God gave me about 20 songs to work with the Headside program and one of them is I Love Music and the other one, education is the key to success, and there are a lot of little songs that he gave me, and I'm just amazed at how he's still working at 82 through me. You're a fox at 82, but um, it's an honor for me to even meet you because I'm not from Columbus, Georgia, but by me being in the music industry as well as in the film industry, I've heard a lot about you. Now I'm finally putting a face with everything I've heard, and I, it, it's an honor. Well, thank you so much. I'm not one to want honors and all of that kind of stuff because I, you know, I do what I do because God gives me the strength to do what I do. And that's where I am in music and anything that I do. Well, I thank you for letting me. If it wasn't for your granddaughter saying my Gigi, and I had to know who my Gigi was, but if it wasn't for your granddaughter, you know, directing me towards you, because um, I wanted to speak with you, but I'm glad that I got the opportunity to finally meet you and to speak with you. And you keep doing what you're doing, and God bless you. 82 looks good on you, Fox. Uh, well, I'm thankful that he gives me the strength and, and the desire to still do what I do. I work with Head Start Children, and I think I do 40 a lesson, say about 30, 30 minutes, 40 children, and we just have a ball. Wow, that is amazing. We are going to do rhythms with the drums and all, and uh, they are already buying the drums that I need to help them to do rhythm, rhythms and rhythmic activities through um, music, whatever music, you know. Well, I think that is pretty amazing because, I mean, I'm starting to see that a lot of schools and everything, they're taking music out of the schools. And I'm saying that you're doing what is necessary to even give it a foundation in the beginning of the stages, with, I mean, with the schools. And I think that is awesome. And you are doing an amazing job. Well, I thank you. Thank you for saying that because you have never seen anything I've done. But, but <laughs> well, it amazes me that somebody else sees, you know, what I do because I, I don't do it for that. Well, they say actions speak louder than words and no, me personally not knowing you, but I've heard so much about you. So this says a lot, actions speak louder than words. And because of people like you, I mean, these kids and these, you know, children will get that foundation in the beginning of, even if they decide to not do it, at least they will have it instilled in them at a younger age. Mm -hmm. Well, I really want my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and my great-great-grandchild to 
be musically inclined so they can share it with others. Well, I thank you for letting me take the time out your little day and, 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 and you know, uh, interview you. But what did you think about tonight's performances and everything that went on tonight? Well, I thought it was a nice performance because, uh, you know, small beginnings beget big rewards or whatever. And, and I'm, I'm so thankful that Arisha has chosen to do this. And I commend her. I, I absolutely do also. Well, I thank you for letting me interview you, and I'm going to find you. So when I come find you, when MoneyBoyTV.com comes find you, I'm going to jump in and say I'm in the building, and you remember who I am. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you. <laughs>